Hi, so I'm filming this now so I don't forget to later. Um, but today is setup day, day zero for Twin Cities Con. I'm super excited. Um, as for my table, I'll put it up on the screen. Um, I didn't really get the best placement, but I did contact the organizers to see if I could be moved if somebody does a no-show. Um, so finger crossed that that happens because I'm currently in the back row and I'm just kind of worried about traffic. But um, yeah, I'll try to record booth setup as much as possible if I remember. I hope I remember. I tend to forget, I'll be real. Um, but yeah, um, I'm gonna go to class in a bit here and I get to leave early since I've already talked with my teacher. But yeah, super excited and I will see some of you guys there. I'll censor it. <laughs> I'll censor it. Ew, the <laughs> Get the back of the easel poke for that, but that's just the back of the way. Oh no. <laughs> Wee! Ah. Yeah, Sorry, that's... I need to fix that, but we'll make do. Sure. <laughs> okay, thanks for waiting. There you go. So, I'm on my way back for Saturday. We didn't really do all that great yesterday, but I'm hoping the weekend will make it count. I'm bringing all my stuff. Ben, my helper, he's gonna... I forgot to grab some print bags, so he's going home to grab those. Somebody just fell. Um, hopefully today is better. I don't feel that great. I think I have a cold, but um, yeah, I'll check back in soon. Hello, voiceover me here. So throughout this video, I'll just kind of intersperse, um, intersperse, I don't know if that's the right word. You know what I mean. Um, me talking just throughout the video and my thoughts and feelings on this con. It's been quite a while since, I one, I did this con and this footage is pretty old now. I'm now doing this in April and I'm sure it'll also come out in April. So I definitely, it's been a hot minute, but I still have a pretty good idea of what I wanted to discuss in this video. So I'll make sure to discuss everything I wanted to talk about. First things first, like, by no means did I do bad at this convention. I'd say it was pretty average and maybe it was my fault going into it with higher expectations, but I was aware that last year, everybody that was vending at the con did super, super well. And so 
Me only getting kind of mediocre sales really, really bummed me out. Honestly, there were a lot of warning signs even before the convention that had me kind of concerned about how things were gonna go. For instance, like the layout, they completely changed it for some reason. I'll put up some kind of infographics if I can explain it better here, but essentially Twin Cities Con the previous year, 2022, and I just went as an attendee that year. I didn't bend. They had all of the voice actors and talent in the very, very back, basically where I was this year. However, this year, they thought it would be a good idea to put all the voice actors and talent on one complete side of the main convention hall, which obviously the talent drives all of the consumers, so a lot of the attendees were mainly all on the right side of the entire hall. And I think a lot of artists suffered because of this. I know there were a lot of attendees through the vendor area, but there wasn't a good enough distinguishment between what was Artist Alley and what was vendors selling merch. Whereas with the year previously, they had a really, really big kind of walkway right in the middle and artists were on the left side and vendors were on the right side and then talent was in the back. And I think having that pretty big hallway right in the middle was really beneficial for people to kind of be able to tell where things are. And as I was talking to a lot of attendees this year, a lot of them were really, really confused because this year had the tables oriented in a completely different way. Last year, they were all vertical instead of horizontal rows, like how they were this year. And there were a lot less gaps than there were this year. And the amount of gaps really confused people. Like, like I saw a lot of people walking into the little like artist rows, like when our backs are facing each other because the tables were only of like groupings of like maybe six and then there'd be a space. And I understand there's like fire code they have to abide by, but like if that's the case, you should have just stuck with the layout you had previously because it was so much more easier to navigate. And I think because of this too, it was really, really easy to get lost because there were so many gaps and not as many distinguishing, let's call them hallways. Which, unfortunately, me being the very back row in the back corner, my sills definitely reflected upon that. And even in general, with other mutual artist alley vending friends, a lot of them said they experienced the same thing, even though if they were in kind of that middle section. A lot of attendees mainly stayed on that right side because one, food was over there, and two, all the voice actors and stuff were over there. And I think just because there weren't big enough signs showing what was artist alley and what was vendors everybody thought it was the same thing and everybody was inter interversed and it didn't help obviously too sometimes artists when they get big enough they'll end up just being in the vendor hall which can be even more confusing if you don't have proper signage i know a bunch of people flew out to this con and didn't even make back what they did the year previously even if they vended here like apparently the vendors in 2022, they did wonderfully, like outstanding numbers, but just the organization and layouts of this year made things so much more confusing. And I think, I'm hoping a lot of people left enough like reviews being like, hey, that was, th this layout wasn't good. Put talent back to the back. So like kind of, you got to make like the attendees work to go back there. And it was a, a lot bigger of a distinction between all the artists, all the vendors, and then there's a big gap towards the back where you could see, oh, this is where all the voice actors are. Hot diggity dog. This place is magnificent. It's pretty disappointing because like I said, I had pretty high expectations for this convention. I know I should always keep my expectations pretty low of any show, but just like having a really big convention like this is something that like the Minnesota like con scene has really needed for a past couple 
just years, not even couple, they, they have needed this for like years and years at this point. Just in the Midwest in general, we have a lot of issues with like Ryan Kopf and like half of the cons he's running. Those are majority of the cons in the Midwest, which is really disappointing. And so like having these newer conventions like Twin Cities Con, like VGM Con coming up and wanting to break out, like you gotta do everything in your power to make it as smooth sailing and easy for both vendors, artists, and attendees, and your staff, because they're volunteers, obviously. Thank you so much. I think you just made it so we can finally make profit at this con. Oh, that's <laughs> exciting. And yeah. it's only day two. Yeah, and it was really it was slow be... yesterday. Yeah, so. I was walking around and I was like, it's kind of busy. Yeah. 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 Big and big. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Enjoy your time. Thank you too. Buy two, get one half off if you want a third one. Okay, and then with that, <laughs> it'll be 67 66. There it goes. Do you want the Denji pack separately, actually, if it's for him? Um, no, we should be okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Hi. Separately? Okay. Cash or card? Uh, cash. Okay. Five dollars.
Wizard Pump 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 Majima? Majima, really? <laughs> are, you, are you saying that because I'm here? No, genuinely. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday I was even wearing a Majima hoodie, so. <laughs> yep, we're from Minneapolis. So. Oh, okay. This was three years back, I think? Yeah. Wow. Do you just you need, you need to do a metaphor time or do you do a life? So, farthest I've gone so far is, um, what is it? It's in South Dakota. I feel it's gone. Yeah. Oh, I'm trying to remember what city it was in. Rapid City. I've been to Rapid City okay. and that's the farthest I've gone. Um, but I probably won't go back there because that con wasn't too great. <laughs> but I've also been to Asen. So, how many times did you do a year? Um, I used to do a lot more, but since I'm a student and also have a part-time job, cons have kind of ended up on the back burner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I try to just do stuff that's local or close. And it's hard to get into cons in like Wisconsin or Iowa because they don't do temporary seller's permits. Like you'd have to get an oh. Iowa or Wisconsin seller permit, and that's a lot of work. <laughs> All right, well, I think I'll get the Kiji with my The big ones? Yeah. Okay. Do you want to get a third one for half off? Yeah, I think I'll get the uh, <clears throat> that 2B. 2B? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Let's see. Do you want to sign it? Yes, of course. All three? Yes, please. Okay. And then, are you going to do cash or card? Uh, card. Okay. Yeah, when I saw you yesterday, I was like so freaked out because you look exactly like Bushido. <laughs> yeah, I was walking around. I wasn't expecting anyone to even know yeah. me, let alone know me by name. Yeah. So I was like, <laughs> I, I, yeah, I used to cosplay a lot and I have a Michio cosplay. Like, I made the whole orange head and everything. Yeah. Yeah. And I took him to Anime Detour mm -hmm. and so many people recognized me and I was not expecting it at all. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't even think about this cosplay until just recently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we had to do the Anime Expo. Mm -hmm. I really did too, and that's where uh, the voice of Kiki was. Yeah, there. I saw that. I was like, oh my yeah. god! <laughs> yeah, that would be really cool. Do you want it sealed? Oh, no, that's fine. Did you usually be like, I'm gonna grab Did you grab a card? I did. Okay. Thank you, Thank so, you much. so much. Thank you so much. Ew. On Friday, I, I really did not do as good as I was expecting. And I was absolutely horrified that that was just the amount of attendees going to be there. Like, like I did not take into account how many people would be at work. Obviously, I knew that would be the case, but I figured a lot of people would be calling off. But luckily, my worries were relaxed when... I saw there was this giant, giant line um, for all of the attendees waiting in line. And I know it went back to like that main area of the Minneapolis Convention Center. And that <laughs> to, I can't even describe the immense like relief I felt when I saw that because I was like, oh my God, I. There's, there's still a chance for me. And luckily, like, obviously, since this is a local show and I'm from Minneapolis, I, I was going to break even regardless. Basically, my costs were super low. I didn't even have to pay for parking. It was mainly just the table fee. And I, I live relatively close to the convention center as well. So I barely had to pay for gas, too. But that table fee, man, is it steep? It's like $300. And obviously, I don't mind paying that because... Like I said, it's a local show, so I can make that back pretty quick. But when I only make $800 on a Friday, and obviously minus 300, that's only 500 profit, and it's like, oh my God, okay. <laughs> and I was just absolutely horrified. Obviously, I, I made more than that, but again, not as much as I was expecting from what I heard of last year. And unfortunately, that seems to kind of be becoming the case with a lot of conventions and I really hope Twin Cities Con can kind of like step it up from here um like I know Rochester's Nerd and Out Con it was really really good the year previously from 2023 but like from my vendor friends I heard that 2023 was kind of a flop for some reason and I don't even really know if they're doing it anymore 
I was originally supposed to go, but then I had to pull out because of my normal day job and school. And there were a lot of conflicting factors that I had to pull out of a couple of cons for, unfortunately. Anyways, yeah, the show was pretty meh. I was expecting more, but maybe I shouldn't have, you know. But I'm really, I try to stay optimistic about all these shows and I really do expect the best in people. And I do think a lot of con organizers around here in Minnesota are really good about hearing feedback and taking that feedback and putting that back into the cycle. Like, if you guys had watched my 2D con vlog, they completely took that into account, like all my critiques and stuff, and I know a lot of artists talk to them about that, and they're putting all the artists and vendors into one room, and they're even moving locations back to the Hilton where they originally were. So I, th I, I am remaining hopefully optimistic about Twin Cities Con, and I am gonna probably bend there as much as I can for the foreseeable future just because it is a Minnesota convention and there's not really that many around here, unfortunately. I also, hopefully, I'm working on getting seller's permits for Wisconsin and Iowa. Um, I recently just got like a tax person to help me with like the businessy numbery side of things so I can just focus on art stuff and not be intimidated and horrified of literally doing anything. So yeah, hopefully that becomes a thing and I'm sure it will. It's just those sort of things obviously take a lot of time. It is Sunday of Twin Cities Con. I'm right next to a highway. Uh, we did okay yesterday. It's nothing groundbreaking. We're currently bringing stuff to the convention center and Ben is speaking gibberish. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to think. Uh, the con. We forgot our badges. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I got my badges. Um, but as you can see, it stops at five today. And it was daylight savings time today. So we got an extra hour of sleep. And then I think Minnesota is permanently like getting rid of it after this, so thank God. Um, but yeah, uh, hopefully today is a decent day, hopefully we can break 1k, I think we're sitting at around like 800, so it's nothing that crazy, like I said, um, I think a lot of that has to do with the orga organization and placement of everybody, it was a lot better done last year, and things were a lot more organized. So hopefully, if they have a feedback form, most people will let the comment out. <laughs> Thank you. 
Welcome to day three. We are um, you'd probably have to find one of those like stiff hard envelopes. I would recommend, and then you could probably just keep it in the sleeve. Just make sure it can't be bent. Yeah. It's one of the kind. Yeah. <laughs> Does that can be Pardon? Okay. Twenty six seventy two. Alright, so Twin Cities Con is done. I'm currently updating my website to my updated con list for the next year, and I only have Twin Cities Con confirmed and probably VGM Con, but I haven't gotten a for sure email about that yet. Um, I'm not gonna go, I'm sure, like, editing me has gone pretty in, in depth 
about how I feel wow, or how this con has gone. Um, I'm just not gonna do that right here because I'm very sick yeah, along with my boyfriend and um, just I don't think talking very much would be all that great for me right now. But yeah. Um, <laughs> thank you so much for watching this video. Um, hopefully more stuff like this will come out soon. But we shall see. Anyway, yeah. Thank you so much. Bye.